All right, everybody, this is Derek with Adventure Sports HQ, and what we're going to do is give you a quick 10-minute brief on our new software called the Game Management Software, okay? First thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on the Game Management Software, double-click it, all right? It shows that I have one screen available. This is, this is made so it can use multiple screens, all right? So I'll go ahead and put that. First thing you're going to do is you're going to come right into the Game Management Software. Up top, it's going to be the version, all right? This is 1.0136. All right, so we're going to see a couple different areas, and I'll describe these. First off, we have what's called the game library. We have the group tag or assignment area. We have your main commands. As I scroll to the right, you're going to see your main commands. And then over here to the right, you're going to see an area where it actually shows you what's going on on the battlefield. Across the bottom from right to left, you're seeing all the taggers that are in inventory. Now for this demonstration, these taggers have not been brought into the system. The only one that's active is Genie right now. Here we have our defender box. We have the blue outpost and the red outpost. And then we have the bases. We have red base and blue base. We'll talk about those on separate videos, how they actually work. Right now we've got D2 tactical laser tag. So the first thing I have to do is I need to come over here and I'm gonna unlock the screen. I'm gonna put my password in. Now I have full access into everything. So the first thing I'm going to do is that I want to bring in all my taggers to see what is online and what is not offline. Very simply, I'm going to go ahead and scan. As you see the scan, three, two, one, it will go through and it will start scanning all the guns. Every time you see it blink, that gun is going to check in. All right. All right, so as you can tell, Venom is offline, Joker is offline, and Razor. Those are demonstration units. So what I'm going to see is this is the Alpha guns on Team Alpha and the Bravo guns on Bravo. Now what I want to do is now that these guns are in, I want to do a quick systems check. So I'm going to hit New Game. All the guns should actually be going through and restarting. All right, they've all reported in. No issues. Those three tags are still offline. Now, I'm going to go ahead and ping them. What ping does is it's going to actually go through and make sure they're connected. This is a quick way to check to see if any guns that have been brought online afterward have come back online or are missing. All right, those guns are still off. So, now I'm going to do an RF check. Now, if I hit the RF check and go like this, it's going to make all the guns blink. It gives me visual looking at the guns, making sure that they're working correctly. All right. Now that I've done a ping, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go and I'm going to end all the taggers, end game. What this should do is all the taggers should go down. You're actually seeing each one going to end game. All right, now what you're seeing is that each tagger has a number next to it. This is tagger storm. When you hold over, it's ID 13. It's on alpha. It is active. It was just discovered at 351 and 34 seconds. It's set to team elimination for 10 minutes and it, the settings were applied and there's a MAC address to it. Each one of these will have the same information. That way I can track what's going on. There's a logging system if there's a problem. If one of my employees is doing something, I can actually go into the logs. That's really advanced. Now, if I want to activate a tagger, I can activate them individually if I choose. If I hit Storm and click on Storm, I can new game just Storm and the other taggers. All right? Now, that game tagger's active. I'm going to go ahead and toggle everything, all right? I, I can show the scoreboard or not show the scoreboard. So that's the armory. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and have go over to D2 Tactical Laser Tag, and I'm going to go up top, and I'm going to go to my game library. To add a new game, all I have to do is click New Game Design. I can name a new game. A S. Test. Fun game. All right. Going through, now I get to do the settings. Do I want friendly fire as a game or not? Let's say no. Do I want unlimited magazines for kids? Let's say no. I can do my life points. I can set my health to whatever I need it to be for this particular game. I'll keep it at 150. Do I want to have shields? I just click on shields, yes or no, and then I select the shield level and the red generation. I can actually take my hit delay and I can actually set the hit delays to how often they can be hit in seconds. All right, I'll keep it at none. I can choose the number of respawns, whether it's unlimited, a number, whatever game design I want. So I'll click nothing. All right, I can do auto respawn. 
I can make it so it's a manual respawn, so it goes back into the base. Now, I can do the referee call, so I can actually set it by game time, or I can end it, a death delay. I can go outdoor or indoor power. I can set my range. I can set what sounds I want, whether it's military, sci-fi, or silenced. I can set my magazine size. I can set the number of magazines, my reload time, my fire select, full semi or burst, my damage, what radio channel. There's 13 radio channels, so with Adventure Sports' RF system, you can select the channel so you don't have to worry about security systems or all that. I can actually set the strength of the radio. Indoors, I can use less because I don't want to use as much. Four is as high as I go. I can go down to zero, which is the lowest setting. I have two different feedback styles. I have ad adult and youth. Now, as you've seen by the website, adult and youth means military sounds and using words like kill-death ratio. You know, those are the hardcore words. They use the death sounds. But if I wanted to put it to youth mode, it says wins and losses. It says tags and hits, and all the sound settings are actually changed by this one button. Now, moving on, I can set the volume of the taggers, the ammo box that gives you for magazines, how much health I get from a health box, capture the flag. I can do my kill LEDs, my muzzle flash, and my backlight. When I'm done, I'm going to hit the save button, and then you're going to see that the menu automatically pops up on my four game screens. All right? So you'll see right now I have four four games. I have Golden Gun, which is a solo game. You'll see what the settings are. Go ahead and take a look and browse at those. I also have one shot, one elimination. Players play for 10 minutes. Game boxes turn off your 10. Last plant player standing wins. All right, so that's that. Now I'm going to go ahead and go into team elimination. All right, team elimination is 10 minutes. Basic red versus blue. It's a 10 minute game. You can see all the everything up there that'll show you what's going on. All right, I'm, I don't want to change anything, so I'll cancel it. King Sweeney, that's a game. It's a modified golden gun, and then it's got its settings there. Now, the great thing about the system is you can make 100 games. You just select which ones you want to keep, which ones you're going to go. You'll see at the bottom right here, it's going to say it's connect the XB modules connected to the dongle. It'll tell you what COM port. So these are the same game settings. Now, it's very simple. When I want to clone the taggers, all I'm going to do is right now, I'm, I'm only going to clone the alpha taggers. And let's say I'm going to clone alpha to the golden gun. I double click it. Oops. <laughs> I cloned all the taggers. I keep forgetting that. All right. So let's fix this before my manager gets mad at me because we're getting ready to run a session. And let's go ahead and put this back. Let's make sure all the guns are tag toggled. They're all on. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm gonna go ahead and put team elimination. Every gun is cloning. The bases are cloning. Over here is cloning. All the settings are being put individually into the guns right now as we speak, okay? You can see that these taggers right now are actually in game and you'll see that it's four minutes and 38 seconds, okay? Now what's cool about this is that I can make my own individual groups. If I wanted to make a new group, it would be really simple. I'm going to take this, I'm going to make a Charlie team, and I'm going to add a new group. Oh, wait a minute. The players are coming. I'll have to show you that in a little bit. So I'm going to go back to alpha group. I'm going to ping, making sure everything's good to go for Matt. By the way, here's my two new groups while I'm waiting for Matt. All I have to do is edit the group and make test group. Double click it. And hit the enter button. Now it's test group seven. Over here. Test group eight. Hit the enter key. Now, I'm going to untoggle these taggers. And let's say I wanted to put these guns in. Xena, Flash. I'm going to go here. And then I'm going to go like this. Oops, let me turn these off one second. All 
I'm going to move these into the group seven. These two taggers are now in group seven. Now what that gives me the ability is I'm going to take both of these taggers. I'm going to make sure everything else is unclicked by toggling it off. All right, I'm going to go ahead and toggle, go back. They're all unclicked. Now what I'm going to do is that test group seven, I'm going to clone these to Derek's ASQ test. All right, those two taggers are now here. Now, I'm going to take two alpha guns, alpha and bravo, and I'm going to go here, and I'm going to put them test group eight. Now, I'm going to set them with a different set of settings. I'm going to unclick these so they're not caught when I do my control. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to put them to King Sweeney. So, now you'll see that these are ready to go. Now, what I'm going to do, if I want to start the games, it's very simple. Test group seven might be a separate group that's going in three minutes later. Maybe it's set up so there's a zombie team. If I did a zombie team, it'd be really easy. I could just do this. Let's just assume this. These are my zombies. All right, I'm going to hit enter. My zombies are going to go ahead and go out in the game. And I'm going to hit new game. My, my zombies are now active. Now, all of a sudden, I'm going to hide this right now. I'm going to unclick it because I don't want to mess with them. I'm going to go ahead and hide the zombies. So the zombies are active and functional. I'm going to unhide it. They're okay. All right, I'm going to hide it. Now, the first group is getting ready to go play. Now what I'm going to do is my first group of hunters are actually going to go out. I'm going to hit new game. They are going to be in the game. Their time has started. Now, I'm going to go over here. And I have the next group lining up. So now what I'm going to do for my next group is I'm going to go here and I'm going to say humans group two. And I'm going to hit enter. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get two more red people. Dusty, Orbit, congratulations. You guys are now on human two. All right, I need to toggle you. So I want to give you the super settings for zombie. You're going to get the golden gun settings. All right. Now the zombies are actually, the first group is in the game for 43 seconds. If anybody would be deactivating anybody, it would be shown right here. All right. Now, since these guys are good, they're playing. I don't need to mess with them. I'm going to hide them while they go through. And now it's time to launch humans group two. Humans group two is now in the game. So as you will see, the power of this is, this is designed for multiple group play. The zombies are always in the game. They're shown on the scoreboard, which I have dis disconnected right now so you can see. The humans have been in for one minute, 13 seconds, and you would see what they've hit. If I had the secondary scoreboard, I'd toggle their scoreboard and hit right so you could see the real-time menu. But for right now, I'm gonna go over here and you can see the other humans group has been in the game for 30 seconds now. So when the game is over, I would come over here and I would say the game is over. I'm going to end the game. The score would pop up on this, set, this display above us. Right now I have the TV connected so you can view it. Then we would allow the other players to play. They would go through and then we would end their game and their score would go in. So now that we have the different taggers, what we need to do is take these taggers and put them back into where they came from. These are going to go here and they're going to go back into the armory. All right. So now these taggers here are going to go back into the armory. All right. These taggers here are going back into the armory. These guys here, I have to click on them, my bad are going back into the armory. So as you can see, it's very powerful, it's very simple. These games are all, now my zombies, I've, all right, I'm done with these groups. I can leave them to run again, but I don't need them. So I'm just gonna get rid of the group. I'm gonna get rid of the zombies group. And I'm gonna get rid of the humans group. If I need to make more, all I have to do is make a group and be good. So the bases right now, We'll show this later. Defender, every time a base gets hit, it'll actually take a number. 
and you'll be able to see it getting hit here. So at the end of the game, I can end game, put the defender on the score, and I can instantly see who won. Bases are live. What this does is the bases gives me the ability to see how many times that we've had a respawn on each team. So if we're playing a game that's respawn active, we can do that. All right. Here, tactical laser tag, alpha versus bravo. This is a red versus blue, nice and simple. My referee will come in here, assign the taggers for people that are playing. Here, I don't need this game anymore. This is my homemade game. It didn't go over very well. I'm just going to delete this. All right. So that's basically everything. So now when I've got everything set and I want to make it so my operators can't mess with my settings, I'm going to go right here and I'm going to lock down. And when you see lock down, everything's been locked down. You cannot transfer groups. You cannot mess with the scoring thing. All the players can do is start a game, end a game, ping, RF, and hide and toggle the teams. That's it. Lockdown is password protected. If I want to unlock, once again, I've got to put my password and I got to go. So there it is in a nutshell. The great thing about this is that you don't have to worry because if there's ever a problem, we're going to remote in with TeamViewer and that we'll actually be able to get into your computer, do an update, fix a bug, whatever we need to do. So I hope you enjoy it. We spent a lot of time on this. It's a very powerful tool and it's going to help make you have a great time. Till next video, have a good day.